Welcome back to Crypto AI Profit. Today I wanted to show you what constitutes an exciting leap forward in both synthetic media and the use cases of non-fungible tokens, which are both likely to explode in popularity in the coming bull run, in my opinion. And we can see here, as demonstrated by this blue line, that the cumulative US dollar volume of NFT tokens shows no sign of slowing down. And it just so happens that synthetic media is slated to be one of the coming mega trends of the next few years. So as the value of the global entertainment and media market is already worth over 2 trillion US dollars, I fully expect that synthetic media is going to take a portion of this action. And we can already see this happening with the likes of Little Mikella, which is also a synthetic character that's very popular on Instagram with over 2.8 million followers. And companies are already taking notice, raising millions of dollars, including Synthesia AI, Talking Head, Neon Life, Hour One, Soul Machines, and unique digital humans and now joining the race Aletheia AI. So the real question is of these companies which has the best technology with the best outcome for its users and today I'm going to take a look through and compare all these projects and figure out who has the best shot to enjoy this coming synthetic media growth explosion. And so this is all about creating the most expressive human-like characters that can scale and interact with you just like a normal human being would. So therefore, to compare all these projects, I'll rate them according to expressiveness, whether or not they have non-human characters like animes or cartoons, whether or not they need training data in order to make the characters or their upper bodies, the quality of output and fidelity, the speed of turnaround, the cost of creation, whether or not they use non-fungible tokens, decentralization, the integration of GPT-3, and multilingual support. So first, let's take a look at Aletheia AI because they're using the most cutting edge AI technology in terms of facial expressions as you can see here on this page. You can really see the emotion pop out of all the faces. And we have user generated AI avatars, tokenized AI avatars, and you can even create your own custom avatar. And what I think is exceptionally cool about the NFT functionality of the tokenized avatars is the ability for users to make money on their characters like Alex Mazmesh here, for instance, who's using the blockchain to secure his likeness while maintaining full control of his creation, all while receiving a kickback each time it's used. Now, just imagine if you built your own character and following like Little Mikella, the income generated could be quite substantial. But let's take a look here at some of these user-generated AI avatars. We have Master CZ, we have QT the Alien, Vitalok, and Yang and quite a few more but I'm gonna choose Lord Nazarov here and I'm gonna see if I can load him up with some English words using a Russian accent and see what happens so right off the bat here we have personalized video messages voice to video soon to come vertical videos open AI GPT-3 chatbot support full body animation unreal engine green screen videos and explainer videos but we're gonna go with this personalized video message and we're going to name him Nazarov. And instead of the English male voice, we're going to use the Russian male voice. And we're going to use neutral tone instead of upbeat, sad, or angry. We're going to copy paste our message here. And actually, before I generate this, firstly, there's this resource section. There's going to be a light paper soon, and there's some video resources here. And there's an API section. So if you're a developer, you can contact Aletheia and get Aletheia characters integrated into your application. But stay tuned, and I'm going to play that Nazarov video. But first, I'm going to check out Synthesia, which has raised 3.1 million US dollars in funding and so far is one of the more advanced AI generated solutions. So, Synthesia has a decent level of expressiveness and animation, and the output is pretty high quality. And the cost of creating an demo is free, but the turnaround time takes a long time. And when it comes to the pricing, the lo fi for just five minutes is 500 US dollars. And the hi-fi, which requires a green screen, is $1,000 for just 10 minutes. So I'm going to go ahead and rate this as follows. Expressiveness is 7 out of 10. No non-human characters like animes or tunes. There is training data that's required to make the characters. And the quality is pretty good at 8 out of 10. But it takes one business day at least to get a character returned. And also you need a green screen and the cost is quite expensive at 1000 US dollars for one avatar no non-fungible tokens no decentralization or blockchain no GPT-3 chatbot support but there is multilingual support next let's take a look at Rosebud AI's talking head demo which outputs relatively quickly from text audio or video but seems to only blink the eyes and move the mouth with very little expressiveness and is somewhat distorted but let's take a look this is an example of the synthetic media generated what do you think of the output quality? So in terms of rating this, I would say probably 3 out of 10 for expressiveness. 
There's no non-human character support like animes or cartoons. It doesn't require training data, but the output isn't great. It's a little bit blurry, so I'd give that about a 4 out of 10. It is output fast, the speed of turnaround. Again, it's low quality, and the cost is free, but you get what you pay for. There's no non-fungible token support, decentralization, GPT-3 chatbot, or multilingual support. Next, let's take a look at Neon Life, and at first glance, it seems to be amazing in the areas of expressiveness and animation, quality of output, and chatbot integration, but upon further inspection, it quickly becomes apparent that Neon is still unreleased and shows no signs of being closer to release than about a year ago when it was first announced by Samsung. So because of this, there isn't an actual product available to look at, so I'll just have to wait until Samsung actually delivers it. So I'm going to say expressiveness is a 10 out of 10, although it's still undelivered. There are no non-human characters like animes or tunes, and apparently it does require training to make the characters. But the quality of output and fidelity is an 11 out of 10, and speed of turnaround is 2 to 3 months, and it needs CGI. Cost of creating is unavailable. There's no non-fungible token or blockchain support, and it's unclear as to whether or not it's GTP3 or multilingual supported. Hour one, they've raised five million US dollars to date, and they look to be off to a good start as one of the more advanced AI-generated media solutions with what appear to be a decent level of expressiveness and high quality of output. I'll play this for you. Unfortunately, it doesn't have audio. And there's no working product yet on the website, so the speed of turnaround and cost are unable to be determined. But from my research, it seems to be that the creation of these characters requires at least 15 hours of video, which seems like quite a task. And there isn't yet a figure on the cost of creation here, but I'm guessing if it requires 15 hours of training, then it's probably not going to be cheap. So for hour one, I'm going to rate the expressiveness as 7 out of 10. There are no non-human characters available, and there is training that's required in order to make the characters, but the quality of output's pretty good. Give that an 8 out of 10. Speed of turnaround, we're still unsure, but we do know that it requires at least 15 hours of video, so it can't be fast. Cost of creation is still unavailable, and there may or may not be non-fungible token support in the future because this is going to run on the EOS blockchain, but unfortunately the EOS blockchain is not decentralized and there is no GPT-3 support for Hour one but there is multilingual support. Next let's check out Soul Machines. And this is one of the more serious competitors with over $40 million raised to date, but still uses some of the old school CGI tech for production. And these synthetic characters are meant to be used by businesses to engage with customers, but they're extremely expensive. And here's an example here of one of the characters that you can converse back and forth with. So they have a high quality of output depending on the stability of your connection and they also have limited chatbot integration so they can converse with customers but they aren't multilingual and the speed for turnaround for Soul Machines takes three months. So in terms of expressiveness I'm gonna give this a 7 out of 10 and there are no non-human characters available for Soul Machines and there is training data that's required in order to make the characters, but the quality of output's really good, so I'm gonna give that a nine out of 10. Unfortunately, the speed of turnaround takes three months, and while the exact pricing is still unclear, there's rumors that a regular model is 5,000 US dollars, and to make a custom model, it's 20 to 30,000 US dollars, and there is no non-fungible token support or blockchain support, and there's no GPT-3 or multilingual support either. Next, we have Unique Digital Humans. So far, they've raised 11 million US dollars, but they use old school CGI technology for production and they have a decent amount of expressiveness and animation. The quality of output is pretty high, but they come at a high cost of 899 US dollars to start. And here is an example of one of them. I can be integrated with any third party conversation platform using Unique's API. If you're using Google Dialogflow or IBM Watson, we support those. So with Unique, I'm going to give it a seven out of 10 for expressiveness. There are no non-human characters available, and there is training data that's required in order to make these characters, but the quality of output is also really good, so that's a 9 out of 10. Unfortunately, the speed of turnaround also takes a very long time, 3 to 4 months, and it's very expensive, 899 US dollars per month for the starter package, about 4,000 US dollars per month for the pro package, and an unspecified amount for the custom package. No non fungible token support or blockchain support, no GPT 3 chatbot support, and it is multilingual. 
Now it's finally time to check out Aletheia and hear some words from Lord Nazaroth, so let's take a listen. Hi Nazarov, hello I'm Lord Nazarov, grandfather of Chainlink Marines, and this will transform the meme landscape for the Marines. To the moon. That's Lord Nazaroth, he has spoken in a thick Russian accent and it sounds good and looks good. I'm going to say that Aletheia gets a 9 out of 10 for expressiveness. Yes, of course it does animes and cartoons, even aliens. And it does not require a bunch of training data, just a single image only in order to do the characters and even their bodies, which are soon to come. 8 out of 10 for quality of output, less than 15 minutes for turnaround. And the price is to be announced, but go check out the website yourself. And full support for non-fungible tokens and decentralization and soon to come real-time integration of GPT-3 chatbots and of course multilingual support. But while expressiveness, animation, quality of output, price, and turnaround time are all important, what's most exciting to me is the ability to profit from the oncoming synthetic media explosion that we're soon to witness and owning and securing your likeness on the blockchain while monetizing it through the use of non-fungible tokens seems to me to be the most empowering path for users, which is why I'm currently most excited about Aletheia AI and what it has to offer its users. But if you want to hear a more in-depth explanation of what you can actually do with Aletheia, all the different use cases, definitely check out this video, which I will link in the description. But go over to the beta portal, definitely check out all these AI avatars and tell me what you think, what would you rate them, and send me some of your videos on Twitter. But anyways, share this video, like and subscribe, and thanks for watching. Bye.